Gabby? Gabby, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, phew. What happened? Everything went pitch black for a second. Okay, so let's uh, continue trying to find our way through this because I still don't know what I'm doing. Um. Whoa, that was weird. I really like this game. I'm very confused by this game. I'm not quite sure what to do. I have, like, tried everything I can think of. Um, let's try going back in here. This is where we first started. Nope. Nope. Okay. I am so very lost. This does not bode well for, like, this game... The, the outside of this building looked bigger than I thought. I don't know why. Okay. Um. Wait. Did we ever go through this? Oh my god. Let's hope this battery does something. Whoa. Okay, well, I'm just an idiot and didn't look in that room. I am functional. Did you power the generator? I... I guess we did. Right, Gabby? So, I am functional. I can walk. Cool. And this computer works now. I see you've made progress in this world, Gabby. But the progress stops here. I believe you need to code to unlock a certain box. Well, the code no longer exists in this world. Do you understand what that means, Gabby? Yes? Good, start looking. What? Oh! It's in the game's install files. One second. Um, where is the install directory for this? One shot, where are you? One shot, I see you. One shot, read me. One shot's read me is way bigger than I thought it would be. Um... Yeah, I don't see anything in the read me. Uh, maybe there's a... I thought maybe it would be in the buttons or something. Alright, I'll keep looking. I found this clover thing. This is all it is. Is It's a 40-something meg. I'm hitting keys, nothing's happening. Nope. It's a 41.2 meg executable file that does nothing that I can see so far. Okay. Um, let's look under maybe data? Nope. Huh. I assumed it would be under the... Uh, it's under the credits. Well, here are the credits for the game. Uh, nope. Huh. Wallpapers? 
Uh, yeah, open with photos. I don't care. Oh! <laughs> oh, this is, uh, okay. So this is, this is what I just found in, uh, in the thing. It says, this is not over. Regardless of what the entity told you, there is m still more to the story. Documents my game's one shot. Look for this symbol. Once, th once it is active, please relaunch. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. And then there's this. I don't know what this is, but I have it. Um, all right, so documents, one shot does not ex- or my games, right? Uh, one shot does not exist. Okay, so I haven't gotten to the point that that matters. Um, I don't know, maybe it created something on my desktop. I wouldn't be able to tell, honestly. Uh, no, I don't see anything. Document that one shot. Found it. Jumbled. Dear Jumbled, the uh, corrupt text, corrupt text, message to you, and I'm afraid I must make it brief. I've left you a journal. Part of which is written in a language that jumbled, 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 jumbled. I have also jumbled... Oh, read it and you will know what to do. Um, look for metal save in the quarry. 394337. Okay. So we have that. I'm going to keep that off to the side. Alright, cool. Hey, everyone who made one shot. This is fucking cool. I'm sorry I'm dumb and wasted 20 minutes of an episode at one point. <laughs> Alright, let's go open up this uh, metal box in the quarry. Like, this is way cooler than a basic RPG maker game. By far. There's already been a bunch of weird, like, ex game external mechanics and stuff, and I really like this. And apparently there's more to the story after I finish. Uh, where was this box? Here, yes. Metal safe. Seems like it's locked with a six-digit code. I don't remember seeing any six-digit codes. Do you, Gabby? Uh, it's... Three... Nine... Four... Three... Three... Seven. Whoa! It worked! Wait, how did you know the code, Gabby? I still don't remember seeing one. Uh, I had some help. Really? From who? Don't worry about it. Okay. What's in the safe, Nico? Oh, right, let's see. Uh, I found a gas mask. That's... Uh, also there's a weird looking book. Can't read it though. Not that I can't read or anything. Because I can. I just don't know what language this is. Okay. Oh! What is that? That's like a glitch. Uh, let's put on our gas mask. I'll wear it if I have to. Okay. So we can now go to the can't breathe zones. So that might be... Okay, okay. I'm starting to make, like, things in my head now. Um, of, like... What if that's a thing that happens when uh, the world is manipulated from the outside? And stuff like that. Uh, okay, this is not a place we need to go. We need to go... How do we get to the can't breathe place? I can't remember now. It has been honestly like a month and a half since I last played this, so... Moving is kind of fucking with me and all this other stuff that's been going on. Um, I will hopefully have my actual place soon. I should be fine with this gas mask on. Oh no, Nico, you're so cute with a gas mask. Alright, well, I guess let's make our way around and see what's up. Now that we're not dying from the sulfur or whatever this is. 
I swear I walked into that room like a dozen times and just never noticed that I could go further back. Oh, are you bad? I can't talk to you. What's this? It's shiny. A pair of rubber gloves. They're a bit heavy. Seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Cannot overstate the importance of cleaning solvents in the environment. In this environment, the simple recipe using alternative method discussing, discussed in last chapter, utilizing the natural properties of blue phosphor, acidic gas, blue phosphor, rare form. In a well-ventilated area, direct the gas into your container of choice. Seal immediately. That's the end of the page. All right. This door's all boarded up. The boards seem loose, though. I should be able to pull them off with the right tool. Okay. Well, we'll have to figure that out. For now, though. Do we have anything? No. Strange journal, empty bottle. Okay, you're too short to reach the top. Good to know. There's something weird about the robots who get sent to work near the gas fields. They appear to accumulate rust at a much slower rate than the others. The few who do who work directly with the gas harvest uh, with gas harvesting look practically new. Is that a result of the atmosphere, or am I just seeing things? Let's uh, look around. We seem to no longer need our gas mask, which is good. Not sure... There's a building there. That's cool. That's always a good thing. There's buildings. There's lots of buildings. Uh-oh. Wait, did we make a loop? No, this is new. I remember being taught in school about how the water surrounding the forest stretched until the boundaries of space. But at some point, the prehistoric oceans receded, forming what is now the Barrens. I wonder where all that water went. Time to jump swimming in this little jar. That's a very tall ladder. I'm scared of ladders. Oh, okay. She won't go up the ladder. Okay. That's fine. You don't have to go up the ladder. Wow, we found like a whole fucking place, huh? Another ladder. Picture of a robot. You know, I've never been around so many robots before, Gabby. Or any robots at all. I mean, I've seen my cartoons and stuff, but I've never seen one in person. They're pretty neat, don't you think? Hey, Nico, do a robot voice. That's... What? Try talking like a robot. Um... Ahem. Beep boop. I'm a robot, and I eat batteries instead of normal people food. <laughs> that is not correct. Robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. In fact, robots do not possess digestive systems. Some robots do not even have mouths. Oh my god. Gabby? You made me look silly. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh. Nico, no, 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 don't, don't hate me, I'm sorry. Infirmary. <coughs> Hello, person of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries. Dots. Um. Scan complete. Injuries detected? None. Treatment required? None. You are good to go. Er, thanks? It's a box of metallic tubes. Most of them are broken or rusty beyond use, but this plastic syringe seems to be okay. Yeah, let's just take a syringe. Hello, person. Are you seeking admission into the infirmary? No? Oh, carry on then. Alright, bye. This is a whole bunch of fucking things. Hey, sweetie, six more weeks till you can come home. About time, huh? Gosh, you can't imagine living in that awful capsule wall dorm thing. 
but guess what? Soon you'll be able to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back soon. Love, Mom. Aww. Looks like I'm supposed to pack stuff for vacation starting today. Wish these books weren't so heavy. This is going to be a pain to carry them on the ship. But they're by the altar. I can't just throw them away. Okay, well, it doesn't hurt to check. I know, you're scared of ladders, honey. I'm not going to make you climb one. Some of the ink on this page is faded. Likely due to some so, some sort of electrical or magnetic interference, I'm afraid this operation can no longer be sustained if the servers continue to fail so much that maintenance cannot keep up the pace. Fortunately, it does not seem to be happening to the robots, at least not at a significant rate. Time will tell. Checking, checking. Terminal does not respond. This is a problem. Oh, these are all broken computers. Pretty sure the computers are now... Didn't mean to go back in. Um, hmm. Did we go in this building? No. Power cell, I think. There's writing on this one, too. It says, Guardian of Residential Area. Looks like they're evacuating the few tamed robots we have. Makes sense. No point in keeping them in the barrens if all the people are already gone. wonder if the engineer is going to... Apparently, phase one of the evacuation ended prematurely. The big ships started malfunctioning only after a few trips around. I said it was due to something with squares. I'm not sure what they meant by that. Bummer, looks like they won't be able to transport most of the surplus bots to the city at this rate. We work so hard on those. But I suppose the robots are busy enough with transporting people as it is. I think it's going to be our turn soon. Anything up there? No. Okay. Oh! Oh, hello. Are you do? What are you doing here? Hmm? A living person such as yourself should have been evacuated this long place long- Evacuated this place a long time ago. Oh! Uh, but I just got here. To this world, I mean. See? I have the sun. Oh, the messiah. I do not know what to say. Greeting you is not part of my programming. Have you spoken to the prophet bot? I think so, yeah. Prophet bot was built with the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, you cannot speak with anyone else. At least, not with these. Oh. That's kind of sad. What are you built for, then? My purpose is to guard the settlement. Even though the residents have long gone, I must remain. Ah. Uh, why, though? I have not been tamed. Tamed? It was not worth the effort. Dots. Okay. Bye. I don't know what that means, but bye. I know it's early in the episode, and I probably edited out a chunk, but I'm probably going to end it soon. Um, just because I've got a bunch of different stuff to do, and I'm still gotta, I'm still got to figure out this new whole schedule thing that I'm trying out, because uh, work and everything starting and stuff. And also because of the... I, I, I put up a video about it, and I don't know, this will probably be the first video I talk about it in. Um, but... Uh, I now live in a state that has data caps, and that means that uploading is... I, I'm not going to be able to do as much as I used to do, so... I'm going to kind of have to cut back to, like... Well, not three videos a day. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll try to keep it up, and then once I get my own apartment, uh, and I am by myself again... I will be able to record as often as I feel like it and have time for and do everything else because then I won't have anything that matters. Uh, but for now, things are a bit limited. Uh, but yeah, I'll be paying the extra 50 or 60 a month for uh, unlimited bandwidth at my place. So it'll only be for a little while. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to end it here and go edit this and and wait to upload it for <laughs> our internet to tick over at midnight. So uh, have a nice night, everybody, and I will see you later.